Yo, what's going on guys? Mr. Lee Pulley here with another uh, little streaming tutorial thing. Um, I know I just made one kind of recently. It was like, what, like maybe a month ago, if that. Um, but I figured out so much like new things with OBS that like I did not realize before. So we're just going to do this thing over again, but like the settings are going to be way different. Um, and it's really just way better. So... Yeah, updated version, let's go. Uh, first off, search OBS, of course. Uh, you know, I really hate Internet Edge. I don't, I don't know why I'm using it. Um, but, anyway, um, so you go to OBS. Oh, whoops, sorry. I already started off the video wrong. You head over to Download, then you go to uh, whichever operating system, click Studio, and then do OBS plus Browser Source, and then... This is where it gets different right here. Sorry, let me move my mic a little. Um, so you got this. You got your OBS. First off, let's just get the settings out of the way. This is the part that's changed. And I forgot to show where you get the stream key. So you just head over to uh, your channel. Oh, man. You know, Internet Edge is just really glitchy. Really glitchy. Um, all right. As soon as this loads up, it's just so... Not good. Um, okay. Now, you go to your dashboard right here. Uh, then you go to stream key right when it loads up and right there. All right. Come on. You can do it. Right there. Then you press show key, copy, and paste that into uh, your OBS right here. Uh, and basically just pick the server closest to you should be fine uh, for output look at this I changed this like totally okay so pick advanced output mode advanced not simple anymore um, and if you have AMD uh, what's it called a graphics card lucky for you they have it like I did not know that they had it but you had to go in advance that they were hiding it in there uh, it works out great um, takes less stress off your CPU. Like, look, I'm I'm recording in 1080p, 60 FPS. If you go to my first stream, uh, I mean, what uh, first um, tutorial on this, like the tutorial before this, it was like the CPU usage was like 20, 23 percent or something like that. Now look at it; it's like 4.5, 5 percent. So it is definitely useful. Um, so basically, for streaming. Uh, that's what this video is about. Uh, just do your encoder. If you have uh, NVIDIA, which probably most of you have, uh, do uh, whichever it is, NVIDIA, you know, whatever. I don't know. Just pick that one. Don't do the X264. Um, and then enforce streaming service encoder settings. You obviously want that. Um, rescale output. Once again, you do not want to rescale your uh, games. It puts more stress uh well if you put it on your gpu then it's more stress on your gpu than you need so just play play your games at 720p it's like not that bad you can you can do it but if you don't want to do that then just do the real rescale output to like uh you know 720p because you do not want to stream in 1080p or else you will get less viewers due to internet um for them even if you have the best internet it doesn't matter um Anyway, this, oh yeah, here's another thing I changed, variable bitrate, uh, VBR. Uh, you definitely want to check this rather than checking CBR because this only uses uh, as much uh, internet as it needs. So it's just way better um, than CBR, trust me, like every everyone says this, I can't believe I missed that out on the first one. Uh, and then once again, bitrate, just keep it as 2500 as I did in my first video. And then if you want to go into recording, I put 15,000, but of course this is only for, uh, this is a streaming video. But yeah, if you want to look at my stuff right here, it's pretty much the same thing, except 15,000 bit rate. Oh yeah, audio, sorry, I almost missed that. Uh, I just put 160 um, audio, 160 bit rate, and that seems to work out fine. Um, I wouldn't go above there, by the way. All right, so audio, uh, 48 kilohertz. I use 
Uh, I choose stereo. Um, and then obviously your desktop audio is just your desktop audio. Um, and then your microphone. And that should be it. Video. I am I am recording right now. That's why it's in uh, 1080p. And by the way, guys. Um, wait. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um, if you're if you're planning to stream something small like Clash Royale, which by the way I will show you how to do that right now. Um, that rhyme I don't know, but um, yeah. I w I've been streaming in 60 FPS for Clash Royale and Clash of Clans for the longest time, and let me tell you, it makes no difference. All it does is lead viewers away because it's too much internet to handle or whatever. Um, so. Yeah, just put 30 FPS. It is totally fine. Um, and 30 FPS for small games like that. Um, so, yeah, just be aware of that. I wasn't aware of the first video. Hotkeys, nothing. Advanced, I just kept it the same. All right, done with that. That was pretty much all the different things. But I am now going to show you how to get uh, blue stacks and all this stuff. Um, I didn't show you in the first video. So, anyway. Uh, let's show you how to get blue stacks. You head over to uh, you just search bluestacks.com. This lets you play uh, this lets you play Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, uh, all the uh, Android games, I believe. So basically, you just download blue stacks right there, and you should be good to go. Um, and oh, whoops. Um, let's see. All you do is just right. Oh, actually no. Go to scenes. Press right click. Add. And then whatever scene you want, you know, just like a uh, game and stuff. And then you can, um, I don't know. It's kind of, it's so hard to do this with one monitor. But um, then once you do that, you just press right click. Once again, very easy. Press window capture. And then you can capture lots of things like, uh, you know, your game, CSGO. I would suggest playing it in windowed mode, all your games. But if you don't, if you don't play your games in windowed mode and you play it in full screen, and click game capture um, so yeah it's really easy basically and let me show you how to get a web like the webcam up so as you can see I have my webcam right here let me move it over a little bit right there um, yeah uh, basically what you want to do is you want to add window capture and then you want to do I already have it in there the webcam right there let me remove it and then add window capture and uh, webcam right there whoa right there move you over there um, and basically you could crop out stuff you know what hold on let me let me show you guys how to crop things out let's add oh crap I don't I would I would think I would have to uh... oh no I don't okay cool uh, let's do it you go to filters you right click on the thing you do filters let me move this guy out of the way I'm sorry but this is very annoying uh, right click once again or you can just press that plus but right clicking is much easier crop um, and then you can just do this to like let's guess 50 oh that was too much so then you go back 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 Alright, let's just not make it perfect. You can just do 100, right? Actually, no, that's okay. Let's try 300. And once again, this is not perfect. 500. Whoa. Okay, let's make it a little more perfect than that. A little more. Come on. Whatever, that's fine. And you get the point, okay? I'm not I'm not going to use that one, though. Because this one is uh, messed up. Anyway, very, very simple to use window capture I already have it in here luckily and boom yeah basically what what um, OBS lets you do is that like once you set everything up you are set to go so that is pretty cool all right what next do we have on the list uh, once again edge being glitchy let's show you how to get the chat on the uh, stream uh, really easy I showed you guys this in the first one it's just cap chat install for OBS you don't have to install anything because you guys already got the browser um, 
and type in your username, blah, 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 uh, chat fade, uh, yeah, I do like to have that on, and I like to do, like, um, I think it's, like, 200 lines, or, uh, no, 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 uh, is that, I think that's in seconds, yeah, seconds, so, um, I would do 200 seconds, that's for me, um, and then I guess, I don't know what show bots is, um, and then prevent clipping, I guess, that's fine, uh, I checked that, I believe. And chat theme, I like to do, uh, I think it's, what is it? I think it might be, I'm, I'm gonna go with light. I think I went with light. Um, and then you click next. Then you just copy this in, and look what it tells you to do. 600 by 300. Just copy that in. Boom, copy. Um, and then next, and close. And then basically what you would do is add browser source. Um, let's just make a new one. Bam. Oh, I didn't paste it. But anyway, you would paste it in there. And then you would do 600 by 300. And then whatever FPS that you're streaming at. Uh, once again, not going to do that. But um, yeah, very simple for that. All right, let's go over to Twitch alerts. This is the best like thing you will ever have. Um, so yeah, we gotta wait for this to launch. Uh, basically, you have a, the alert box. Uh, this will show everything. And look, I actually added what? I added a custom thing here. Where is it? Oh, mom, get the no, 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 no. That was that was for the donation thing. Oh jeez, no. I'm sorry. I can't turn it down. Are you serious? I don't know. I put it for like 21 seconds. It's very annoying. <laughs> okay, anyway. So basically the follow thing is the same thing. You just copy and paste this thing right here. Copy, paste, inside. Once again, I'll show you just in case you guys didn't catch it the first time. Boom, boom. Uh, copy and paste right there. Okay. Pretty sure you guys got that down. Um, alright. But, uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Like, you have to put the name is, uh, you put, like, whatever. Donald Duck is, uh, now part of the Roly Poly Army. You can edit that if you want. You could fade in and fade out. I like the fade in. You can change the layout, uh, alert duration, um, sound, or picture, um, really, really awesome little thing here. And then you can go down in the font settings if it's too big. Pretty awesome. Uh, you can do it for all the things, like donations, host. Uh, I don't know what bits is. I don't know what that is, but, um, uh, yeah, no idea. Anyway, I think we got that down. Um, all right, nice. What else do we have? Oh, uh, no, wait. I don't know. Is that it? I mean, basically, it's just really easy to do, guys. I mean, yeah, just really easy. Um, I hopefully that's it. Please don't make there be another thing. But um, let me let me just show you what your final product should look like. This webcam looks a bit small for me. Um. Bluestack sometimes does take a little while to load up. Close out of that. Alright guys, I'm going into my Clash Royale thing right here. It's going to be in 720p, so that's why the screen will look like so small. Especially my webcam. I don't want to change anything though. Like, um, sorry, but I'm not going to change anything. Uh, this guy is... Ah, uh, Jesus. Alright, um, sometimes I have to close out of it. Sometimes. Initializing, yes. Alright. So, Clash Royale is very good to use a webcam in, by the way, if you have one. Um, which I just got, which is, I really like. Okay, we're going into Clash Royale, ready? Oh, of course, of course. Try these apps, okay, cool. All right, we're going to Clash Royale. Once again, 720p. I'm very small, uh, little webcam man. 
Um, so yeah, this is what it should look like. Um, you've got your chat right here. Where is it? Chat, chat, right there. And basically, if I were to go and type something in, which I am right now, hold on. While my edge is being very glitchy, Come on, Edge. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. Okay, no, you can't. I'm sorry. I need to use Chrome. This is retarded. Which, look at how fast that loads up. Oh, my God. Chrome, you are my hero. All right, nice, Chrome. Excellent. All right, go into chat. Say, A. What's up? And you should see it on the stream. Yep, right there. And then we go into, uh, we go back into the alert box, and then we, uh, test, let's test the donation alert. Oh, oh, oh my god! Why did I have to choose that one? I forgot it did that. Okay. I might need to change that, but I don't get that many donations, so, I mean, it would be pretty cool. <laughs> Um, this is a test donation for $74. Oh, yeah, and it has the text-to-speech. You guys can uh, click that if you want. Um, it's very awesome to use. So, yeah, once again, that that is going on for 30 seconds. That's why it's so long. Um, basically, guys, that's about it. And you can add also this uh, by going to downloading the Twitch alerts thing. Uh, let me go back to record. If you go to... Uh, Stream labels, stream labels right here. Uh, download that, and it's basically just very easy. I guess I'll have to show you right now. Hold on, let me open it. Uh, once you download that, you'll get this. You get file settings. Uh, you can edit anything. I might want to edit this follow train. I don't really know how it works, though. It's kind of confusing. But anyway, uh, yeah, you can. Uh, I like to use, where's the most recent follower? And yeah, guys, I think that's it. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video or stream. Be sure to check out my stream. Um, I guess that's it, guys. Okay, see you guys next time. Peace.